to children, I mean microchips. Here's my presentation for you about the, the insides of computers. Now, I know that's your first day in the computer, so I'll just lead you through all the parts. Now, first, the CPU. It's called the Central Processing Unit. And it's basically the brain for your, for your computer. It handles all the instructions you give it, and, and it runs the programs, and the faster it does it, the better. Now, for me, the motherboard. Now, what do I do? Well, I basically help, well, for one, I, I take care of all my sweet, little, darling, amazing, cute, wonderful, okay, I'll stop cute, wonderful little microchips, but my, but my biggest thing to do in the computer is help all the systems connect. Now, oh, I'll just kind of do that. of computers. First, remember, safety first. Okay, let's break this thing open. Now this one is very easy to open. Some of them need screws and nails, but this one you just kind of pull off and then bring it. Side of a computer. Now, basically, well, this ooh, is the inside of a computer. Now, basically, all you see is these wires and plugs, and and capacitors, and and lots of other things. Now, capacitors. Capacitors, like these things that I tried to make, um, or look like that, are like little batteries for the computer. Let's see. And it discharges the energy and really fast powers in the computer circuits to run. Now, a resistor, these are all these. All these tiny, most of all these little tiny specks are resistors, but back, but here's an old motherboard, here's an old motherboard, here's an old motherboard, and these resistors are much bigger, these little peach things, mm -hmm. and um, this is much you know, I'll talk about it after. And resistors basically slow down the energy. So, like, if you're, it's basically like if you're rushing through any, everything and you can't, go, can't figure anything out, and you're just like, oh, God, I can't concentrate. Oh, they're going to do this. Oh, oh, I forgot to do that, and you do that right now. A resistor basically does that for electricity. Now, now, so it basically, so it has to concentrate on one thing at a, on like one thing at a time. So it goes a little fast, but also slows down. Okay. Now, um, now I think. So here's the power supply. It basically gives you power. Um, this is the motherboard. Me, the motherboard. Um. Here's a CPU, here's a memory, all those little things are memories, and here's a hard drive. This can spin. That's a hard drive. And normally a fan would go here somewhere, but we kind of ripped that out. Um, now I think I move on to the keyboard. Basically, how it works is keys push down. 
onto a rubber pad. A little stretchy, shouldn't stretch it, it'll break. Now, so it pushes down on these little rubber things that go up and down, and that pushes on to this. Now you probably think that it's just a, oh, it's like a piece of paper or whatever, like lines on it. These are actually insanely thin little wires. Like if you take this out. Look how thin that is. So thin. It's paper, probably thinner than paper. Okay, and those push on, and that push it, and the key push it onto the rubber pad. That pushes onto these, which closes the circuit and sends it to the cir and sends it to the circuit board, which sends a signal up to the computer screen. So like, if you press down an A, it's like, oh, they're sending an A, and they do it like in a blink of an eye, <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you blink, you're not gonna be able to see it. Okay. Now, next up, viruses. <gasps> Oh no, said the computer programming that must never be named. Okay, I'll try and make it quick. Um, so basically, it's, a, it's an evil computer program, and, and it copies itself, and it can harm other digital de computers or other digital devices. Now, what I mean by harm is that it could steal my data, steal my identity, and even steal money off of my credit card, and a whole bunch of other things that seem like, well, kind of robbery. Basically robbery. Now. Okay. Now for some few additional facts. So if you're wondering, the first computer made was in 1936. It was called the Z1. And the first computers were the size of entire rooms. So basically, roughly this room. So, and they were normally for calculating or communicating. So, but compared to today's, a new one can fit on the tip of your finger. Now, if you're wondering all these little things on the table, the little props, well, all this be on a table, much bigger table. Now, here, now, is an old motherboard. Now, this is a very old motherboard, well, in 19-something, 1963, and these are much less expensive because a human can take all these pieces and then put them on. Now, and then they're soldered on the back with a machine. And these are very less expensive compared to today's motherboards. Now, these are very small and these are much less expensive because, much more expensive than an old one, because all these little tiny, these are, all put on by machine, so all these little things. Well, like the capacitors were put on by people, but all these little things, those are all resistors. But then on the old one, a resistor, big fat, and it's like peach, like that. And this is much more expensive than that because a robot does it. Now, let's get on. This is a DVD player. Now, why am I bringing this into a computer presentation? Well, it's, well, it's because it has computers inside of it. So it has the same thing. It has a motherboard, capacitors, it has a, it has a CPU, and it has all the other things that a computer has. So this is basically a computer. This actually works, so maybe at the end of my presentation, I can plug it in and you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. Now for a plug cable. Now 
I see little tiny little wires and the this is definitely flexible and it's because the wires inside of it are braided like hair braid it's very flexible but some are very hard to move now why they're so hard is that there's really much thicker pieces of copper inside of it and there are three of these so if you move all these three it's kind of difficult and these wires are normally for in your walls or in a or in a lamp or something but and they're also normally for um cables like plug-in like plug cables um got a I think screws and nails probably just screws another keyboard that I picked out because this one is clear on the bottom and well, I picked it out because then you're able to see what the key is like whenever they push down like this side okay and here's a monitor screen here's a monitor screen I took out some things to spell my name with. So there's, I'll do that later. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh no, I killed something. What's going on? Oh no. Uh, 2% low battery. Uh, I guess this is my end of presentation. I guess. Um, um, plug in. Plug me in. Plug me in. Please. No, no, please. Plug me in. Plug me in. No, no. Any questions?